Shalom, and welcome to the first lesson in the Ancient Hebrew Pictograph and Paleo Hebrew for Kids. I want to give thanks to the Most High Yahuwah and His Son Yahushua for this opportunity to teach His children about our true language, which is Hebrew. So let's get started. We'll be going over three main forms of the written Hebrew language. There are other versions that exist, but these are the most commonly studied and used forms of Hebrew. We'll be learning about ancient Hebrew pictograph, the Paleo Hebrew, and a little bit about the modern Hebrew, just so that you know how to trace the modern Hebrew back to the ancient pictograph and Paleo Hebrew. The first letter symbol we will be going over is the olive. Olive makes the ah sound. Can you do that? Ah. And when it is used at the beginning of a word, it sometimes may be silent. Not all the times, but sometimes it's silent. Also, the letter that follows the olive may sometimes tell how the olive should be pronounced. The olive pictograph looks like this symbol here. What does this symbol look like to you? It's right, an ox. Now the pictograph also carries meaning with each letter symbol. So in addition to looking or being an ox head, olive also means strength, leader, unity, first and crown. There are some additional meanings of Aleph, but we will focus on these most common meanings for this lesson. In addition to the pictograph and the meanings, Hebrew also has a numeric value. Aleph carries a numeric value of one. Next, we will look at the Paleo Hebrew. It is written with a straight vertical line with two lines going across. So it kind of looks like a vertical straight line with a side V. And this is how you would see the Paleo Hebrew written for Aleph. Now we're going to take a look at the modern Hebrew. So how you would see Aleph written in modern Hebrew today. It is a diagonal straight line with a curved line going up on the right and a curved line going down on the left. We're going to look at now some words that actually start with Aleph. We have Aretz, which is the earth. Abba, which is father. Ama, which is mother. Mother is also sometimes pronounced as Ima. So this concludes our lesson today on the letter Aleph. We looked at the pictograph, the paleo, and the modern. We hope that you enjoyed this lesson. Until next time, Shalom.